Hi, y'all. I'm back. I'm finally back. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A lot of y'all asking me if I'm in a closet. No, this is a shelf that I bought. This is for, I keep my inventory on here. And um, yeah, so I am not in a closet. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> um, so this video is going to be about why, no, what you did wrong if he thinks he's the prize. But first, I'm gonna let a few of y'all get in here. How are y'all doing? What y'all did wrong if he thinks he the prize? That's the topic for today. So anyway, oh my God, y'all, somebody sent me some jewelry. JNCY jewelry. I linked them below. Y'all have loved every piece of jewelry they have ever sent me, the pearls, the eye necklace, so on and so forth, my birthstone. So fancy, right? They always send me these little fancy things and a little fancy stuff. It's box, it's box. <gasps> oh, look, it's bling. It's 18 karat gold. It's my initial and it's blinged out. Is it hard to see bling that close up? I'm getting ready to put this on there. Thank you so much. If y'all want y'all's initial, it is linked below. I put the direct link so that y'all can get, they have other type of jewelry as well. Every type of jewelry you can think of. Initial jewelry, pearls, diamonds, rings, earrings, necklaces, bracelets. I got this bracelet there too. Or they sent this to me too. So I'm getting ready to bling out real quick. Hold on. Get ready to be blinged out. Oh, come on. Come on, get in there. Yes, I can feel my neck chill. I'm glad I don't have like long nails because I would never get this. Where's the little hook? I need assistance, please. James. You know, I think I can get it. You love the jewelry? Yes, they have beautiful jewelry on that website. Um, come on. And I think I've told you her story, yes. The owner is one of these um, level up subscribers for She Was Seven. She started her own jewelry business. So kudos and congrats. Okay. Come on. I can do this. I have to do it in life. I always, I did it right before and I tried it on, but um, hold on. Turn the necklace around, I know. I want to do it the right way. I did it. I knew I could do it. Okay, so L. I think it's cute. It's very blingy. All right, L is for my name, baby. Y'all don't know my real name? Or y'all again, y'all don't know my real name? Oh, thank you, Seco, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Yes, y'all know my real name. It's my Wild Weeks discount code. It's in the link in the description bar. Yep. Okay. So this is um Sandy, the ash blonde wig from ywigs.com. I did post it on Instagram on She Was Seven if you guys are interested. Um thank you. 
I appreciate it. I did a get ready with me this morning on my Ashura Star Beauty channel. And I have all the details to this wig linked on there. If you guys want to go subscribe over there or check that last video out that's on there. All right. Let's get on to the topic, shall we? Mm-hmm. What did you do wrong? To make a man think he was the prize. Let's get our let's get our pens and papers ready, okay? What we did wrong? What we done did wrong, Sheila? I will tell you what you've done wrong. To have a man think he's the prize. You've been too nice. You didn't have a, a good list of demands in the beginning. And you had less standards than he did. So Usually when a man thinks he's the prize, he's probably attractive. That's number one. He probably thinks he's attractive. Or he has a good career that he's just getting into. Not that he's had for years and years and whatever, but a career he's just getting into. He's all extra about it because he's just getting into it. So he feels like he's going somewhere in life. And so... Um, he thinks he's the prize and so he acts a little bit arrogant um, usually he's not super old but probably somewhere in the middle or closer to young so if you're dating a younger man or someone that's close to your own age they usually think they're the prize, um, unless you are far more attractive than they are. When I mean far, I mean far more. <laughs> like you can easily replace them with someone way better if you wanted to. So if, you, if you're dating someone and they think they're the prize, you need to figure out where you went wrong. Was it their age? Was it their looks? Was it... You know, um, you not having enough standards in the beginning, or was it something else? Was it the way you treated yourself? Sometimes people treat themselves like second class citizens when they're in the presence of someone that they really like. And I know this is a big problem with a lot of women. You, you get crazy when you're around someone that you really admire or like. I think everybody is guilty of it. Um, that's why I, I would never date certain type of men because I don't want to be that way. And let's just face it, some men do bring that out in women. So you don't date those kind. So um, if they are this grand person that make you not put yourself first, get away from them, okay? Uh, if that's how they make you feel inside, don't date them because they will always be the prize to you and you will never expect to be the prize to them. So that relationship is doomed from the start, okay? Um, <laughs> if you're in that relationship right now, and you ask me how to flip it, you can't. It's too late. You can already told him he was surprised unless he lose a body part or something, you know, you're pretty much done for. Unless he had a bad accident, you're pretty much done for. So um <laughs> start over elsewhere. Ask him what I did wrong. <laughs> no, don't ask him. Please don't ask him. Another thing is, you know, why he thinks he's the prize, because you compliment him more than he compliments you. You should never be complimenting a man if he doesn't compliment you at all or first, unless you want some. Okay. If you chase him, you chase him. He thinks he's a prize because you're chasing him. 
Okay, that's another way. If you text and call a lot, okay? Basically, if you pick Misha, if you're texting and calling a lot, he thinks he's surprised. If you forgive him so easily for anything, he thinks he's surprised. So um, if you don't make him pay in some way for forgiveness, if he's made you upset, he thinks he's surprised. Um, if he tells you you're lucky to be with him, he obviously thinks he's surprised and you went wrong by not correcting him right there. When you don't correct them and you let that happen without saying something like, well, you're luckier to be with me, you know, um, then he just feels like he's surprised. So you'll have to stop doing that. Mm -hmm. I want to have my dad's baby. That's disgusting, but hey. You mean your sugar daddy? Better be. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> said, somebody said Jerry Spring. I hope that's your sugar daddy, girl. I hope you talk about your sugar daddy. If not, don't don't come back in no more. <laughs> or don't comment no more. Okay, thank you. Sprinkle sprinkle. Um <laughs> I think they just wanted to be heard. I don't know. So anyway. Have any of you made these mistakes already in the relationship that you're in or the person that you're dating? If so, oops, the next time you date someone, never do this. Always act like the prize. Because there's a lot of men walking around here. There's a lot of men walking around here talking about, I'm the pros, I'm the pros. I'm a high value man. Da, 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 da. Like he in a beauty pageant or something. Waiting on his trophy or crown. <laughs> okay, that's not going to happen. Um, he he trying to be a trophy husband or something. I don't know. Um... <laughs> honestly, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Real men don't walk around talking about, I'm the prize. I'm the prize. They just already know they the man. And whatever woman is lucky enough to be a prize to that type of man is a real prize. Thank you, Genesis. Uh, what if they say, let me see, let me scroll back. because um, That went fast. What if they say they're in love with you and want to spend the rest of their life with you? Thank you, Genesis Sprinkles. But where's your ring? What a love ring. Then they will marry you, right? Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's where your ring is. Thank you, Serena. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What? They just started dating a hot, good provider. How do I make it known? I won't tolerate any cheating. Do I want girl? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I won't tolerate any cheating. That is that make, that's gonna make them go do it even more, babe. Right? You don't say nothing like that. Girl, I won't tolerate any cheating. Even though you're a good hot provider. I won't tolerate any cheating. So what you gonna do if he cheat leave? That's all he's going to do when he want to get rid of you. So you never tell them that. The best thing you can do is don't give him time to cheat. Don't give him energy to cheat. And spend all his money so he can't really afford to cheat, baby. Okay? Add all up. That's the best thing you can do. He should be a free free. You might be cheating. That's right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That was a good question, but you know, you can't straight up tell someone that. You just have to 
make sure they don't have what they need to, to get out and do what they need to do. <laughs> like, nope, I need that. You need to be here. The man is coming to paint at three o'clock, at four o'clock, whenever he got free time that you ain't going to be home, tell him somebody come in and he need to be there. To let him in. Oh, he must have didn't show up. Thank you, Sawa. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is it possible to make him change his mind once he starts thinking he's surprised because of our mistakes? Not really. You just set the tone for the relationship. He'll never see it any other way because that's the way it started. You know, just like the same way, like if a man wanted to flip it on you and make him think you're the he's the prize, you would never feel that way if he's always treated you as the prize. So it's kind of hard to flip it. You're just going to have to, you know, stop treating him like a prize. But that could backfire too because that's might, that might be what he wanted in a woman to think he's the prize. He might with, be with you because he knows you know he's a prize. Be careful because people do base relationships on certain things. <laughs> so you dated a podiatrist that earned 150 and he thought he was the prize. To prove I'm the prize, I dated a rheumatologist that earned 250 and spent way more money on me. I didn't even hide it. <laughs> That's right. A lot of men think they're the prize until you show them that there's other men out there that will give you more. And that proves that you're the prize, period. <laughs> I mean, everyone should know that the woman is the prize, that she can leave you and go level up to a higher paycheck. I mean, a, a, a better man. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle Gates. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What if he always calls and texts first, but I always answer when he calls? And text, do I look pick Misha? Should I sometimes ignore his call? Yeah, I miss a couple of them calls a few times. Try don't don't make them like make them lose hope. And the next time you answer, he'll be even more glad to hear from you. Miss a few calls. How do I get back into my sugars? Good grace. I moved out because he said he got a lot, lot going on with bills. Girl, why would you move back in if he got a lot going on with bills? Mm -hmm. Oh, that he mean he's not gonna give you no money. This is bills paid for now. I would have been found another one by now. Okay, um, if if you left when the money was low, you think he he's gonna get you back? You, <laughs> I don't know. If he's not calling you, he don't. He's not too happy. Call it. I mean. You can just say, how you doing? And see if he tries to get you back. That's about it. What to do when he starts acting different than when you met him? He took me for granted, got too comfortable, so I left my ex. Okay, well, he's your ex, so um, that means he's in the past. Um, usually people act different than they do in the beginning of a relationship because, you know, it's not the beginning anymore. It's, that's called a honeymoon phase. Once that's over, you're going to get the real them. That was the real him. The one you didn't like. The one you broke up with. So be glad he's your ex. Because most of the beginning stuff in the relationship is all fake. Thank you, DB. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I was the biggest pick me alive for this one arrogant man. I know what I did wrong and blocked him. How do I get over wanting revenge to humiliate him for her? It's only going to humiliate you even more to even still be thinking about him. You know what I'm saying? It's, for me, you don't see this from my point of view, but it's you should be even more humiliated for still thinking about him. You know what I'm saying? Because he's not thinking about you no more. He probably on to the next thing. You still over here mad and thinking about him. So you're making it even worse. Just Level up and get a man that makes more money. That's the ultimate revenge, period. And you might run into him one day with the man with more money and a nicer car. Um, a smart woman like Shira shouldn't have such dumb faults. <laughs> and Alma is calling y'all dumb, how rude, but anyway, giving him. <laughs> Oh, y'all are crazy. Okay, detach, move all feelings attached to the guy. Yeah, 
detached right there. Remember, you caused the whole situation by being the pygmy. I mean, people can only resist taking advantage of someone who is, you know, a pygmy so long. Okay? Just understand. You, you did a lot of stuff wrong. So, you kind of have to partially blame yourself. Thank you, Nikki. My live-in provider cheated before he begged me to not leave. Does he think he's the part of now? How to change that? Did you make him buy you something very expensive? Did y'all go shopping? Did he buy his forgiveness? Because if he didn't, he probably thinks he's the prize. I'm glad you asked. My chain is from JNC Jewelers. Link is below. It comes in this really fancy box too. Yes. It's bling, it's 18 karat gold too. All right. Um, you have a fancy date this weekend, but don't want to look thirsty. How light should I show up without making myself look bad? What time is your date? I would say never come more than 15 minutes late. Then it's kind of rude. 15 minutes you can get away with. Anything over 15 minutes? No. Yeah. Um. Y'all ask me if I ever cheat on Jane. Why would I cheat on Jane? L is my name. I have my name starts with L too. Uh, my real name. So I was I was going to see if Layla wanted to borrow it. Because we have both have the L initial. Um someone asked me if I ever cheated on Jane. Why would I cheat on James? <laughs> Who's offering me more? Because <laughs> I'm not cheating to cheat. I'm cheating for you know for dividends. I'm not gonna cheat for no other reason. You offering me house, cars, you know, all that. What's up? And that ain't even to leave. You know, if you did, would you tell? Would I tell who? Do I look stupid? Oh, let me go ahead and tell. If I did, nobody would know. Not even the person I was cheating with. They wouldn't even know I was married. Period. <laughs> they wouldn't even know my real name or nothing. <laughs> hey, Stuart, should I lose a guy? Oh, should I lose a guy? I used to talk to his phone number so he can no longer see my phone. Or should I out? Or should you, so he sees this glow. Girl, let him see it. Let him see it, girl. Do you believe in going through a man's phone? If you're looking for his cash app to send yourself, sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate it. That's the only reason I'm going through a phone is to send myself some money or get some credit card information or something like that. Okay. I don't, honestly, Why waste time scrolling to, through numbers when you could be scrolling through Cash App, okay? Or Vimo or PayPal, whatever he got. Mm -hmm. Do I have the white or gold? This is the gold. Thank you, Vanity Moore. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So the guy flew me out. We went a bit too fast. I got distracted by how wealthy and well-connected he is. How can I get him interested as before? It's too late. I don't know what to do. Should I tell him how I feel? No, and no, and no. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You already did it with him, did you? Did you do it with him, girl? It's too late. Sorry. He got what he wanted. You were very easy. He thinks you do that with everybody. If you slept with him. If you didn't sleep with him, that he should be calling. Thank you, Danielle Gates. Sprinkle, sprinkle your hair. Please spill the tea on that hair. What kind of hair did you... Put? This is from Y Wigs. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, if you go to my beauty channel, I the last video I did has the wig details. My beauty channel is Ashira Star. I'll put it in here. And 
click on the description bar and or it's in the comments on my, um, on my beauty channel. Go check it out. It's from Wild Week. I think it's Ash Brown. I think it's Sandy. It's called Sandy and the color is Ash Brown on Wild Week. And if you use my coupon code to save 10 bucks and it's down in the description bar. Just scroll on down. Um, you follow me on Amazon. Thank you, Moon. I appreciate that. You see all my stuff? You see a lot of stuff I wear too, right? I put all, a lot of stuff that I wear on my Amazon so y'all can get it if you like it. Um, how to make him move out his mama's house. He has the money. If he don't want to move out his mama's house, he's not moving out his mama's house. You know, if he has the money, maybe he wants more money. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm not even dating that type of dude who living with his mama. I say go for somebody better. Mm hmm You have a boyfriend for six years, provides for you, gave you a credit card, but not sexually attracted to him any longer. I love him. What to do? You're not sexually attracted to him any longer, but you love him. Girl, act like you're married. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what married people do. Time to get married, man. Hey, can you do a video on using the baby voice? I've done so many. You just lighten it up, baby. Just lighten it up. My necklace is from JNC Jewelers. Link is below. It's where the eye necklace is from, the pearl necklace is from. And it's 18 karat gold. Y'all go check it out. It's, I'll show you the. Uh, they're also on Instagram. If y'all want to follow, this is the name. It's a company. JNC Jewelers Fine Jewelry. And yes. Link is below in the description bar. Just type in JNC Jewelers. JNCY Jewelers. Yeah, it used to be a more JNC, but now if you just type in JNC, it'll pop up. Um, if you're too materialistic, you look too high maintenance. Well, they don't have to know that. Do you have a coupon code for the necklace? I don't know if I have a coupon code. Um, if you can go find the first video I did with a coupon code, it might be in there, but I don't know. I'll look for one and I'll try to put it in the description, but I don't think I have one. I don't think it's it's probably Shira fifteen or Shira ten, one of those. <laughs> it would have to be one of those. How to avoid having to give money back? He, he I'm never giving no money back, baby. If you give me money, that's a gift. There, if you didn't write out an agreement or some type of loan, you ain't getting nobody back. <laughs> okay. You could be mad all you want to. You're the one that gave it. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> Honestly, you in the Caribbean because of me? <laughs> How you get there, girl? Did you fly or are the cruise lines back over the girl? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, when a man starts to talk about he wants his money back, that means A, he broke, B, he's stupid. Because he should already know. No, that ain't never going to happen. All you got to do is threaten to call the police on him, like harassment, baby. What advice would you give me if I just started an art and craft business? Um, as long as you like to do it, 
and you have clients and you just keep going, it'll grow and grow and grow. Try to keep up with the latest trends. Like whatever you're selling, make sure people aren't like wanting to buy. Don't just make stuff you like, make stuff people like. Thank you, Danielle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How important is weight and leveling up? I lost a lot of weight. What about FUPA? <laughs> um, well, as long as you look good, you know, dating is fine because you shouldn't be trying to sleep with nobody anyway for a while. They need to get to know you. You need to get their money. So, um, Someone says do ab workouts, spanks, uh, whatever. What do you say? Skims. Someone says lipo. Workout. Skim. Skim is ugly. Lemon water. I'm deprived. Waist trainer. So I don't know. Drink green tea, y'all. They're giving you all the good chips, I guess. Um. His mom is making him pay bills and all of her costs. He's well paid. How to make him get his own place. First of all, I'm not making a man do nothing. Period. If if he don't want to do that for you, if you his if you his woman, then he doesn't find you important. You know? He's 43, 25. Okay, when you go over there to do the do, scream real loud. Okay, because I know y'all doing stuff. Scream extra loud so his mama hear y'all. There you go. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Walk around naked. There you go. She's going to tell him to move. Move out. Imani, sprinkle, sprinkle. What is your birthday or zodiac sign? I'm Pisces. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. I know she would don't believe in long distance. I sure don't. Unless he's sending you some long distance money, then we can pretend all day. Mm-hmm. The man is the prize if you ran through. Well, the man is is the one running through. So is he the prize too? How do you think a woman get ran through by men? Think about this. A woman is a prize until a man touch her. Period. She's still a prize after he touch her too because he still want to touch her. And another man will want to touch her after that man didn't touch her. So the only thing that takes away her value is actually a man. But a woman adds value to you. So that should tell you something about yourself, sir. <laughs> Don't come over here with all of that. Mm -hmm. Don't come over here with all that. Y'all the one be running through people, acting like y'all the prize. We y'all the one that taint people. Y'all the poison. We the prize. Baby. Anyway. Sure, how do I ask for money if he border if the borders are closed and we're long distance? Cash app. Sprinkle sprinkle. PayPal. Venmo. Zell. E someone says e-transfer. Mm-hmm. Western Union, yes. Yeah. Not if you were only with us husband. So husbands cheat. And so do I. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all just don't want a woman comparing y'all to other men. Because y'all ain't up on y'all game. That's all that is. 
you wondering if it feels good, if she's had someone bigger and better and more talented and got a six pack and got a good rhythm. That's all y'all worried about. You be like, if you're if you're doing something with a woman and she ain't giving you the reaction you want, it's because you something wrong with you, baby. You ain't doing something right. You just You don't have enough money for her to fake it either if she ain't faking it. If she ain't faking it, and you sitting there thinking you're doing something, she ain't screaming for fake, you ain't got no money. Thank you, Danielle Sprinkle Sprinkle. The golden YouTube video, in my opinion, is how to be more feminine and less intimidating. It's working. By the way, any advice on cute workout clothes? Thank you, girl. Thank you, Danielle Sprinkle Sprinkle. Yeah, um, well, you know, anything... Feminine in color is cute. Uh, any pinks or pastel colors or, you know, um, anything that just makes you look more feminine and stand out, I would definitely look into that. Anything that is not pants. What? That's she said to the gym. What to do when a guy who gives you the silent treatment comes back since they always do? Ask. What do you mean when they come back? Act like you didn't even notice. Oh, hey, what you doing? Don't even act upset. Act like you didn't even notice, girl. Um, do those headband wigs stay on when at the gym? Girl, I'm glad you asked me that. They just sent me some new headband wigs right here. I'm going to try on tomorrow. But I'm sure they do. There's combs in them. So if there's combs in them, you've got something to attach the comb to, they should stay on. Let me see what they have sent here. All right. Shout out to Y Wigs. Oh, it's sprinkle. They sent me two headband wigs. I'm like, let's see. I will do a wig try on tomorrow. But one is yakky and long, and one is a bob. With, with straight. Straight here. So this is a yakky. And they do sell headbands as well, but it comes with one already made into it with the Velcro. See? There you go. Strong Velcro too, so it won't fly out. And then there's combs in it, just like the regular other wigs. So you've got combs in the front, the back, and you have an adjustment strap. Thank you, Baby Locks. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, yeah, this is kind of cute, though. All right, so I'll try that one on tomorrow. Let me see that bob. I never had a headband bob look before. It seems like it would look very 60s. This is a curly bob. Thank you, Aunt Ama. My gothic friend dated a rich rock star who took her to Seven Star Restaurant thanks to you. Ooh, girl, the bath. What did she wear? Was she, did she wear something gothic to the restaurant? Did she take pictures? Did she post that up on Instagram? Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's cool. Rock star. My natural hair free form locks. Do you suggest any hairstyles for my level of drink? And it's the wig, girl. Get you some wigs. You can change it up. Um, change it up. Have have your hair one way this way, one way this day, one another way the next day. That's what I do. I have my wigs and I change it up on my baby. And hold on, I'm trying. So this wig comes with the same thing, but it's a short black bob. This gonna be cute. I can already tell. 
it's like a natural hair color. But I'll, I'll post all the information up on, on these tomorrow. Um, definitely. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Needs to be straightened. Yeah, I'll see. Y'all know I don't do too much extra work on that these weeks. I try to show you them right out of the box so that you know what you're getting. Um, you said gym wig. That is a cute gym wig, ain't it? You strap it on, throw the combs in, put you a headband on, and you're good to go. It's not too long. It won't be all up on your neck. You can use a clip to do half up, half down. Um, her Instagram is classy golf looks. Oh, cool. I, I like looking at different people's style. So, um, yes. Thank you unapologetically. Sugar Daddy 58 wants to move me out of my parents' crib and into a new house in Texas. He want us to live together, though, in a relationship. Though I'm 22, girl, it's time to go. He offering you a house in Texas. Can you pick out the house, or do he already got the house? So, let me see. Stay at home with your parents or move out to Texas in a house with your sugar daddy in a relationship. As long as you ain't got to work and pay no bills, I don't see why not. <laughs> Make sure you have some money stashed. So if you need to go back home, you can. Sheila, how much do you make on YouTube? <laughs> Enough. Enough. I don't be telling people how much I make. Um. My man has offered to fly me back to my hometown because he feels used. What to do? I feel used. I'm flying you back to my hometown. Does he know your hometown? You're going on vacation. Tell him to send you back to Hawaii. Meet you a sugar daddy there and tell him to send you back wherever you came from. Or I'm this is yellow. Yellow. Um, so I'm definitely gonna get me a free trip out of that, okay? How do I confront my guy about still talking to his ex? Girl. See, old people don't talk to their ex. Not that much unless it's about like, oh, they got some disease or, you know, somebody can die. So, so I get, get you old. You don't have to worry about all that. <laughs> Y'all think I'm playing. There's so much difference, you'd be just surprised. It's like, if James ever talked to his ex, it's because A, somebody died, B, somebody sick. Oh, or somebody getting married or something, you know. <laughs> young people problems. Young, young dater problems. Young men problems. Shira, how do you look so young? I feel like you're 25. Girl, when I was 25, I wish I was still 25. Your 31 year old boyfriend, realtor, and wants me to move in all bills paid. I lost my job during the pandemic. Girl, move in. But I spread sprinkle. You lost your job. You're going to pay all the bills. Win win. What are good demands to set up from the beginning? Well, you don't really make demands. You just tell them what you like and what you don't like in a nice way. Like when they ask you about yourself, throw all your standards in there. Like, 
Oh, I'm 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 really laid back and da 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 da. And and if you ask, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a man who um, is very respectful. You know, then you lay your standards down when you tell him what you're looking for. You know what I'm saying? But in a way that when he asks you, what are you looking for? You're laying your standards down because you're telling him what you're looking for. But oh, I'm looking for, you know, an old fashioned gentleman that, you know, knows how to treat a lady. That means I ain't going to pay no bills. Don't ever ask me to pay a bill. And you're going to be a gentleman, which means you will respect me and not talk about anything sexual until it's been enough time and you spent enough money. Thank you, Asia. Asha. Always gorgeous. Thank you, girl. So lay it out when they ask you what you're looking for. Sure. What's your skin routine? My skin routine, I actually did it the other day on this channel, like last week. All you got to do is go and find it um, in last week's videos. And um, yeah, I, I list all the products and the links and everything. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How to redirect sexual comments from a man. Well, I mean, depending on, like, it's hard because if, if he met you online, that's probably what he thinks you're online for. So, like, I always say, if you're meeting them dudes online, they're going to come sexual. They're going to come out doing sexual, talking sexual. You know, because they think that's what you're on there for. I would ask, excuse me, as if I didn't hear him and give him a chance to correct himself. Excuse me? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? Let him think about it one more time before he opened his mouth. Give him one chance to correct it. If you say it again, you're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not that type of girl. Is that what you were looking for online? And then be like, act like you ain't the one, baby. Like, I'm not the one. I don't know. I'm sorry. You know, this is a misunderstanding. Basically, like, he was looking for a prostitute or, uh, you know, and he got it wrong. So he'll be more embarrassed than you. Yeah. L is my name. My, my real name starts with L, y'all. Y'all think my real name is Sheila? Sheila, Sheila. Can I say during the date, like, I like shopping, or is it too bold? That, that's gold diggerish. Yeah, don't, don't say I like shopping. Say I like fashion. That's the same thing. I mean, how else do you get fashion? By shopping? What? Why do guys like exchanging pics? It's way really corny because they showing everybody in their mama what they don't even got yet or haven't even paid for. So you don't be giving up no pictures. Oh, look at this girl, man. I'm going to go out with her tonight. Look. Yeah, that's her. I'm going to get her. Look at her, man. Nope. You getting a picture with some sunglasses and a, some dark sunglasses on, fully, fully clothed. You want to see me? Come see. <laughs> what if he finds out that you are a social media influencer? He will then find out money is being made due to common sense. Since influencers make money, how do you just tell them you're not monetized? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yeah, I believe it. Oh, my channel isn't monetized. They took my monetization. Oh, well. It's just as easy to lie, baby. Um, 
Why do men pretend they don't like wigs and makeup because they can't afford them? Thank you, Mika. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, Shira. I live with my boyfriend. He has money, but I still want to try to freestyle. Any tips? Love your channel. Um, you live with your boyfriend. He got money, but you still won't moan. Okay. Uh, is it worth losing him over if he finds out? If, if, if you don't matter and you don't care, then go out and, you know, when you say you're going somewhere else, you go do that instead. Go somewhere you don't, tell him you're going somewhere you know he doesn't want to go. And then go for the Like, I'm going to my mom's house. I'm going to my grandma's house. I'm going to church. I'm going to visit my, my niece and nephew. Tell him all the places he don't want to go. Invite him. When he turn you down, go anyway. Go out. There you go. Right? <laughs> sure, what do you think about OnlyFans? If that's how you make your money, that's how you make your money. I don't know. Like, it's better than being broke. I, that's all I can say. I don't agree with brokenness. Sure, what do you think? Okay, I already see. Answer that. Why do guys like mean girls? Because mean girls know that they're the prize, baby. They know they're the prize. That's why they like them. Right? If you're mean, you already know you're the prize. It's like, hey, miss. She was saying, I want to pay my bills. A good way to ask men for money. No. I can't believe y'all don't know how to hint and make clues and scenarios. And if they don't offer to help you, they don't want to help you. Talk about how you need car parts, how you paid your mom's mortgage or rent, and now you're short on yours. And if he offers to help you, great. If he doesn't say anything, then he's probably not the type of man that you want to be with him. Thank you, Genesis. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What do you think about having friends or friends in general? I think about, like, if they're not, uh, if they're beneficial to you, then of course. Mm -hmm. You talk about male friends or female friends. Because as long as it, if it's a male friend, as long as they're paying. If it's female friend, as long as they're beneficial to you and not, they're not trying to tear you down. But if it's a male friend, they got to pay still. It's the same thing as dating. They still got to pay. Sorry. Um, any recommendations for intimacy with the wig on? <laughs> y'all are so funny. Like, literally, y'all are hilarious. They have combs in these wigs. Do you see how Beyonce be on the stage doing her hair all kind of ways? Okay. I have not seen her wig fly off yet. Somebody says glue, combs, all of that. <laughs> yeah, thank y'all. Hit the like button, y'all. Thank you. Appreciate that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, act like the prize. Yes. Don't be insecure. Because if you're insecure, you don't think you're the prize still. Don't be jealous. Don't be insecure. Because a prize is never jealous or insecure because it's the prize. Okay. Y'all have to get out of that. No more jealousy. No more insecurity. If you act jealous or insecure, he thinks he's the prize. Period. You don't act jealous, he'll be like, dang. She ain't even jealous. No, because I'm the prize. I can do better than you at any day. If you want to go get it, just free me up to do better. That's how you have to think. My boyfriend always says I'm proud and I feel too big because how I carry myself and 
I don't accept less. What do you think you're? I think you're the prize. I think he thinks you're the prize. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. If he can't handle you being the prize, well, sorry. Only expect the best. I love the different background. Thank you. Sociopaths live good lives. They showed it. What happened to keep saying I'm too good for you? If he keeps saying I'm too good for you. If he keeps saying I'm too good for you. He said he was too good for you. <laughs> and he's still able to talk. And you still talk to him. And he still got all the money in his bank account. <laughs> and he still got a job. <laughs> Everybody always trying to ask me what the ultimate revenge is. Make him lose his job. He got a job. Baby. That's the ultimate revenge. You want to get him back anonymously? Or make a little phone call to that job. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said pathetic. It worked out, but I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't believe in revenge, but if you just gotta do something or else, you go crazy. Go ahead and call up that job. You gotta get a good story though. You gotta pretend like you're a news, a news crew that's about to come up there and interview one of their workers who. Maybe a suspect in a crime, or someone who was on social media doing very bad things or saying very bad things. Can make them up, or make them up. At least get them questioned or suspended for a few days. <laughs> Have I done that before? I'll never do. Yes, I will. Oh. But the prize doesn't seek revenge because she's on to the next one. Because to seek revenge would make him think he's the prize. Oh, I'm worth all of that, huh? You went through all that trouble because you, you, you're you sad that I left you. Because I'm the prize. So revenge is never the best idea, just leveling up to get another one of these. But I know some of y'all don't care, y'all want it. Y'all want revenge. So I told y'all what to do, call up their job, baby. Always hit them in the pockets. That's the best revenge you can ever get. A man don't care if you, if he dumps you and you go out and get another man, unless that man makes make way more money and he's unable to get you back. He might not ever see you again to know that you're with another man, but if he cheats and you want him to, for, he wants you to forgive him, make him spend a lot of money for his forgiveness. If he dumps you and you just can't sleep at night until you get revenge, call up that job. That's it. But I don't really care about revenge because I'm on to the next one. I, I don't have energy and time for that. I'm putting it into something better. <laughs> but I'm giving both sides of the story. How to make a rich old man fall in love fast. Um, They're old. How do you think you make an old man fall in love fast? Let's see who's been paying attention. <laughs> And how old is old to you? Isn't asking for the zodiac sign to person? Yeah, I would never ask anybody their sign. Just ask them when their birthday is. Then you figure it out. But don't start talking about signs unless they ask you. Make them feel young again, girl. Yeah. Thank you, Mecca, Sprinkle Sprinkle. 
At times, he doesn't act interested in me as if he has options. That is why I want to freestyle so I can have options down the road. Okay, well, go get your options, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's smart. You ain't, you're not, you know, you're single till you marry, and that's just your boyfriend. So you're right. Sugar Daddy texted so much. You responded late because I was with another guy. How does he doesn't call what to do? Girl, put him on automatic text, baby. You can create your own automatic texts. Like for when someone calls and you just hit it. You got to do that. You can put it, I'm at a funeral. I'm at the hospital. Just put a bunch of different random ones in and say, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't answer. I'm at the hospital. I'll call you as soon as I can. And then you know they're going to text back, what do you mean you're at the hospital? And then you can have another one already pre-written out and be like, um, visiting a relative, visiting my, visiting my grandmother, visiting my aunt, visiting somebody. Have them automatic text out. So you can just hit the button when they call. He thinks you're talking to him, but you ain't. Okay. What? You know it's going to work. How do I find out if he really has money? He's retired from the fire department at 71. Girl. Fire Department 71. Does he sound like he got money? What'd you do for a living? Oh, I worked for the fire department. Oh, he got money, girl. No, he don't have no money. Right now. He probably got his retirement. He's on a month. He's probably on a fixed income. Thank you, Marina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Any tips for starting a YouTube channel without people from your real life finding out is that possible? Yeah, don't tell them. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't tell them and use an alias name. <laughs> Today I bought Fantasy from Britney Spears. I think it's a feminine fragrance. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Rob Sprinkle Sprinkle. Uh, Shira, I want to thank you for changing my life. I just got 1.5K from one and 2K from another. Life emergency. But it's really just for my level up process. <laughs> Getting my boobs done next week. Girl, go ahead. Get your money. Sprinkle Sprinkle. See, there. <laughs> she, she got her boob money. Girl, go ahead. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, you get it, get it, girl. Sure, I have a stripper name. What to do? Should I change it? You got a stripper name, girl. Put you can you can like alter it so it won't be a stripper name. Like you say, your name. I think it was a diamond. Okay, put a hyphen in between the. The mom, like make Dia, your, name, your first name could be Dia, and then your last, your middle name can be Mond, and then your last name could be your last name. So Dia Mond. My name's Dia. Your middle name is Mond. Mound. <laughs> and your last name is whatever your last name is. Just split it up, girl. And then when you write it out, you say, I write my last name, my first name, and name together. Thank you, Cindy. He said we that we were exclusive. What does that mean? I mean, he pay all your bills now. You ain't got to work no more, girl. That's what it should mean. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's what you're going to say it mean. It's like, really? We are? So I can quit my job? You got to make it mean what you want it to mean, not what you, don't ask him what it means, ask yourself what it means, and you, you tell him what it means to you. To you, it means you don't work no more, period. He got you now. If you want you off the market, then he got to pay for everything, period. 
<laughs> How to politely reject demands. Ask them to repeat it again. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. What did you say? What? Oh no, I'm sorry. No, I don't do those type of things. I'm sorry, that's not gonna be that's not gonna be um that's not doable. That's how you nicely do it. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm, I'm unable to do that. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm sorry. And suggest something better. How about we go to dinner instead? I'm I'm a little hungry. Just politely decline. What are you gonna do? I think women are afraid to to reject. If you, if you do it in a nice way with a smile and a baby voice, I mean, what are you gonna do? Mm -hmm. But all these guys dates friends on dating apps. Yeah. Where to meet tech industry men, Silicon Valley types in Silicon Valley. Outside of the buildings where they probably will work. There's a lot of tech buildings in every city. Just go stand outside one of them in the parking lot. Eat at the restaurants nearby. So if they happen to go to lunch. What do you think about having old and young men? <laughs> as long as they pay for stuff, I don't care. What do you think about, yeah, as long as they both paying? What can I do to make him obsessed with me like in the beginning? Dump them, go date another person, and then take them back. Then they'll treat you good again like he did in the beginning until he gets used to you again. Okay. Y'all, the beginning is fake. I keep telling y'all that. A man treats you like that in the beginning because he wants something from you. It's fake. He will never be that way again unless you dump him and get him back. He begged to come back. And you make them all these do all these promises and make them do all the stuff you want them to do before you even say yes. He's never going to be the same again. <laughs> what do you think of boyfriend telling me he doesn't want kids with me because I fight with him in front of my son? I feel I don't want to speak to him again. I feel just great. I'm not supposed to be arguing with no man. You're supposed to be taking his money, making him pay for forgiveness with, with money. Arguing doesn't do anything, but you hit him in his pockets, he's going to think the next time he does something wrong because it's going to cost him. Okay, Arguing don't cost him nothing. Spend the money. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all don't understand this. Money hurts. Not arguing. You want to get him? Get his money. Okay, you know what? I'm very upset at you right now. I don't know if I'm going to forgive you. I don't know what we're going to do about this. Be looking at your phone. Oh, that is so cute. I love that. This person's so cute. Ooh, this car is nice. What do you think he's going to do right then and there? In a serious moment, and you just got distracted by a cute car or a purse or whatever. He, he wants to say, well, we should go test drive it. We should go get it. I'll get it for you. Make him pay. And still don't forgive him because he know he's just distracting you from getting at him even more. So he'll, he'll, he'll try to get you something and then you might get two or three things out of it. But I'm definitely not arguing because there's nothing you can get out of that. How 
helps you become a narcissist because I don't want to be a victim by others using me. But then, then you got to use them, girls, for us right Why would you be arguing in front of your own? Okay, well, some people have trouble controlling their emotions, so got to get a hold of that too. She will have you. She will have multiple men is way better. Good, I'm sure it is. Huh? How to make a 50 year old man fall in love with you fast? I want to secure the bag. I'm too lazy to date multiple men. You 58? Okay. Well, move in with a girl. That's the best way. Get them used to you. Hello. So what is that? And white jeans. Oh, Girl, move in with them, girl. Um. Yeah, if he's not obsessed with you, then uh, he's got to like you way more than you like him. Or he ain't following nowhere close to him, no in love or in lust. <laughs> sure, what cities around the world are better for fine type of men? Any city? If you can't find a man with money in most cities, then, you know, go to a rich city. Most likely you'll meet somebody rich. But you should be able to meet people with money anywhere. As long as there's money. How do you get men to get used to you? You don't want men to get used to you. How? Yeah, you don't want men to get used to you. That's when they get bored of you. How many dates should you wait to kiss him? I already told him I wouldn't give it up for religious reasons. Girl, I hope he's the same religion. <laughs> Thank you, Avery. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Been with Sugar Daddy five months, intimate one month since. He's given me 20,000 cash shopping sprees. I keep busy with friends, rarely text. First, how do I keep him interested? Um... Well, he's giving you 20000 dash cash and shopping spree. Well, it sounds like he's still interested. Maybe you should just go see him. Go on a vacation. Create a bond. You know, vacation time, baby. What is the difference between wife and girlfriend? Um, a piece of paper, a legal piece of paper, um, property, um, benefit, benef benefactor after death, taxes, look, insurance, deeds, right? I deal with a rich dude, but he only pays for dates, no gifts. How do I make him buy me gifts? If he not buy you nothing extra, you need to tell him like, oh, it's my birthday next week. Or, oh, this is really cute. Like, be on your phone or something like when you're with him. Like, oh my God, this is really cute. I love you. Oh, do you want it? Go eat out by places where they are shopping centers. You know, be around some shops. See something in a, in a window or pass by a shop or see something online. Oh, I love it. If you don't offer to buy it for you, he's cheap. Mm -hmm. Right? You, sh it's, you shouldn't have to make people do stuff. They should do it because they want you in their lives. They shouldn't want you to leave, so they need to buy you. They need to keep you there. They need to keep you interested. Otherwise, Oh, we're having dinner. I get to show off this pretty girl and she gets to eat free food. That means he thinks he's the prize. Okay. If he's not trying to do anything extra, he feels he's the prize and he's just dating regular. You know what I mean? He, if he's, especially if he's older, he need to be offering something. You said free food is good too. 
it's great, but if that's all it is, you know, if you're hungry, I guess go, but I, you know, I'm trying to get some extra. Mm-hmm. Such a turn off when they don't set up, step up, or anything. Just be done with it right then and there. Like, oh. They know you, they will never see you again. You don't have to be rude about it. You can just say, oh my gosh. You know, come up with like a scenario, but don't ask. Just say something. And if they don't offer to help you with your issue, with money or something, then they're not the one. Mm -hmm. Shira isn't even good looking enough to be a gold digger. And you ain't rich enough to even be one word about what a gold digger look like because you'll never have one. <laughs> The therapist. What you do? Get an online therapy degree, right? You got your printout certificate. Anyway, therapist, you said I'm huge. You just live. Can't help it. Bulk up, baby. Get you some protein drinks. Get in the gym. Lift them weights. Do something. My ex moved to another state and keep me as a safety net. So then you, I hope you're charging. I hope you're paying some bills. Mm -hmm. I hope you're paying for that safety net. Thank you. I've been to a therapist one time and that was the last time. Girl, you are gross. I'm sure that's, I'm sure I'm gross to you because you probably don't like women. Don't worry, we won't tell nobody. Sure, what if you use him for free food and you still, what? Have other men as well. Girl, then get all the free food you like. Go for it. Sure. Sure, what if, okay, you already asked that question. Stop asking. Y'all not, y'all can't troll me. There's just no such thing. Thank you, Lydia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My boyfriend cheated on me and I pretended I was heartbroken to apologize. He paid for my tummy tuck. Girl, go ahead. Get your tummy tuck. And Brazilian butt lip. Your advice works. Thank you, Lydia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. See, you could have been broke up with no work done or work done and then break up later. See, you're smart. Thank you for taking that advice. See what you did? Shira, is it okay to ask a guy you not you got from what? You got from a dating site for money? Do y'all listen to me? Do y'all understand English? Because when I be talking, y'all do y'all really be listening? Come up with a story about how. You need something because you had to pay for something or something cost a lot and you don't know if you're going to be able to afford it. If he does not offer you any money, he ain't the one. Okay. If you go up to a grown man that you just met on a dating site and you ask him for money, it looks bad. It looks ratchet. It looks ghetto. It looks like you're probably a hooker or whatever. So don't do that. Tell the story. If he's listening and he hears you and he wants to impress you, he will offer you money. You don't just straight up ask a man for some money you just met on a website. Excuse me, can I have some money? No. 
if you look good and he likes you and he want to keep you around and impress you and he know women like money, he going to offer you some money. Do you need anything? Is there something I can do for you? Are you okay on cash? That's the kind of questions these men ask. If they're not asking you that, you need to level up a little bit more. Okay? If you tell them a story and they don't offer to help you in some type of way, you keep on keep on leveling up. That's that's your uh, level up skill. When they start offering, you know you got to a good spot. Okay? So keep, if you don't hear them offer, keep working on yourself. Or aim older. Go for older men. Keep working or aim older. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta allow them to offer it to you. Mm -hmm. You look like a cheap linebacker dressed in drag. I know that's your fantasy, ain't it? You like linebackers dressed in drag? <laughs> you know, you the therapist, you know. You're projecting your fantasies onto me, and I don't. I won't have it. Which number should I wear? Would you, would you want me to wear a seven on my back? Is that what you want? What's the dust mop, girl? You want? He want that seven, girl. What color uniform should I wear? What's your colors? Who's your favorite team? Shall I talk like this? No, I'm in your head. You're the one fantasizing about me being a linebacker so you can get at me from behind. Um, thank you, Star Children. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Shira. How can I get money from a man online that is generous? He has given me, and he's given a woman online money before. What's a good way to get money out of him? A story. A sad story about a pet that needs surgery or it will die. Sprinkle, sprinkle. A fake veterinarian bill. A good imagination. A little thinking outside of the box. <laughs> a little fake crying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, later on, that's how he was going to treat you to all oh, y'all talking to each other. The dog needs surgery. That's a quick way to get money from someone online. The dog needs surgery, the cat needs surgery, especially if they're a pet person. Like always ask about the animals and pets, ask to see pictures and stuff. You know, make sure they're a, a pet person. Then hit him with that vet bill, baby. With that vet bill. This is the most attention therapist has gotten in his entire life. Girl, I know, right? I spent too much time being nice, girl. If that girl, I don't know why you spent that much time being nice. You need to learn how to lie without stuttering. Practice it, baby. You got to practice it about 15 times. And then it'll come out like butter. Oh my gosh. It's like acting, you know, you rehearse so that when it's time to, you know, do your lines, it's not real. You just ruined the date. Wow, what happened? You're a horrible liar if you're not prepared for it. You better get to preparing. Um, lie like it's the truth. Exactly. Best way to make him fall in love with you. Be the prize. Make him chase. Make sure he likes you way more than you like him in the beginning. You know? And I have a feeling that if women are asking this question, the man don't like that as much. 
You know what I'm saying? Pick men that like you more. That's number one rule. My husband likes to make me mad. He starts smiling when I'm upset. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, huh? That means he controls you. I'm in San Diego. He came on oh, LA, made me mad, and made him bring me back. What? Y'all too, y'all too emotional. Y'all are too emotional. Did you get any money? Then y'all messed everything up. Y'all are too emotional. Y'all can't even stay on a date and get flued out. Um, girl, I don't know what to tell y'all. Your eye, your eye is not on the prize. If y'all were spies, if y'all had to work for, you know, a secret government spy, y'all would ruin a whole mission because somebody made you upset. Thank you, Ruby D. Been getting my bags with African and Caribbean men. I'm fitting to be the queen of Zamunda some girl. Hey, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Get them, get them bags. Get some good bags, too. <laughs> get your bags. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. He's suspecting I'm a gold digger. How can I pretend that I'm not? Should I give him something? Girl, no. If he don't know the deal by now, then he must think he's the prize. Right? He must think he'd break a date. How old is he? So you got to be careful with that age because sometimes at a certain age, they still don't think that they got to pay yet. They, they, they think they might have a few more years left before they really got to start paying. So how old is he? <laughs> okay. Advice for dating. Girl, have fun. You 18, you in college, don't get pregnant and don't pay for nobody. Don't pay for no man. When you ready to date for money, then you know what to do because you have my channel. But right now you need to have fun. Get all the stuff you want to do out of your system. Okay. You hope divine wisdom says, I hope y'all take care of y'all bodies. A new female turns 18 every second. Abundance of women is out here ready to be late. That's true. Go get them young ones that don't know no better. You better hope they haven't found me yet. Them young ones, you know, they think $100 is a lot of money. So, you know, you, you, uh, you got them five figures, you know, you can date your 18 year old. Thank you, Mermaid Teens. Hey, Shira, do you still invest? I'm not sure which, which, yeah, cash out, baby. Cash out the little squiggly line at the bottom. That's how you buy stock. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But yeah, I don't really go into stock, how to do all that stuff, but there's so many videos on YouTube. Just go find one and watch it and then Probably take you step by step. Why these men in our business, girl, they can only afford an 18-year-old. What you think an 18-year-old? They want Olive Garden and Forever 21. What you think? They can afford that. I say go where your wallet can go. Okay, you can't afford grown women. You got to go find someone who doesn't know any better yet. And then when they turn about 23, 24, and they figure it out, they're going to dump you. And go on to the next one. So, whatever. <laughs> okay. The young ones are learning fast, though. I know. I hope the young ones are learning. But the ones who aren't learning, they will figure it out sooner or later. And then on to the next. I'm bad at fake crying too, but we have to act like that. <laughs> right. 
Any advice if for if a guy from something community wants me to be a provider, but a baby, but a daddy, dog, I don't even know what none of that stuff is. As long as he's paying you, um, and you're not uncomfortable or disturbed by it, then I don't, I don't see the problem. Okay. I don't even know what none of those letters mean, but hey, if you got money, if you're paying the bills, then go ahead, go for it. As long as you can be the dominant one, because I ain't gonna get tired of it. Met some really rich new friends hoping to get in their social circles and meet a rich man. Any tips? Talk less, listen more, learn. And, you know, kind of use what you've learned among them when you go and speak, you know. Thank you, Ann F. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Five years ago, I was in love with a dusty addict. Now I'm in love with myself and my older boyfriend just bought me a house. You changed my entire life. Girl, you went from crackhead to the big house. Sprinkle, sprinkle to a nice new house. Go ahead. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Yeah, from crackhead to a house. That's beautiful. Thank you, GGL. How to make him take you on vacation for your birthday? Tell him that's what you want. For my birthday, I want to go to this place. That's how you make it with me. I don't want nothing else. If you don't give me that, then... I don't know. That's what I want. Tell him months in advance so he got time to save up if you need to save up. Hopefully he got that kind of money. Hopefully he got money. Uh-huh. You don't check your partner's phone how you going to catch him cheating to get that Bentley because they always home. If, if, if you're checking his phone to get a car, then by all means, check his phone. You know what I'm saying? If you're checking his phone to get emotional and leave broke, don't check his phone. If you're checking this phone for money to get you a Bentley, great. But if you're checking this phone for emotions, don't. It's all about your motive. How do you make guys interested? Look good. Level up. Look good, baby. They're automatically interested if they like what they see. How to make cheap men that have money spend more money? Cheap men don't spend money. Go get another man. And if cheap men do spend money, you ain't going to hear the end of it. Advice for jealous mom during Little Up. I'm sorry you didn't level up when you should have. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You want to level up with me? You want to go to the gym together? You want to do hair? If not, then don't stop me. You got to be straight up sometimes. You got to tell them how it really is. You can do it in a nice way, but you got to say something. Can y'all start releasing? Oh, can y'all start realizing that men are <laughs> replaceable? They sure are. I'm 21 in a two-year relationship. He's 22 and taking things slow. When do I give up? I feel like this could be a while until he wants to settle down. Girl, he's 22. It's going to be about 25 more years till he want to settle down. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, she's trying to settle down with a 22-year-old man. No. it's He's going to be about 40, late 30s to 40s when he even thinks about settling down. Mm hmm. So if I were you, I would go ahead and be dating other men, money. Older men are more ready to settle down than a young man. Okay. Why do they date? Because it's called free sex, baby. They got to pay for you. They sleep with you every night. They still get to hang out with their friends. They're not married. They don't have too many responsibilities. If you leave them, he'll just go get another one, baby. 
He's young. Men like to explore their options when they're young. So they don't want to just rush into a relationship and not get to experience the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So that's not going to be your husband. I'm sorry. He's 22. He can't even afford to be a husband. All right. Go date other man, baby. Explore your options. What do you do when men always ignore you? Are you good all the time? Don't know what I'm doing wrong. What side of town are you on, baby? Are you on the side of town where men are going to look at you? Are you around young men? Are you around old men? Like, are you feminine enough? Are you wearing the right colors to catch their attention? How do you cut your losses and learn to move on from situationship? If you ain't getting no money, losses should have been cut. Do you go to a job that don't pay you? That's how you do it. Think of them as a job. If your job stopped paying you, are you going to show up? No. If you're not benefiting from something, why do you keep showing up for it? That's how you get over it. You think of it as a job. Emotions and false emotions, emotions and a false sense of guilt will keep you hanging on to something that don't even want you. You know, you will be hanging on to people that don't even want them, don't even treat them right, won't even buy them a good gift. <laughs> but you, you hanging on, girl. You better go. Emotions are horrible, yes, for the wrong reason. If, if, if they make you a pick me, should they're horrible. Thoughts on seeking arrangements. Good place to find free sex for men. Like, that's what they think when you when you're on there. You ready to do some do something? I don't know. I don't like, I mean, they're going to treat you like they met you online. Mm -hmm. If you have luck on there, stay classy. Don't stay trashy, baby. Be classy, Super classy if you're going to date online. Date on the paid websites, not the trash one, Not the trash ones. How to look good on social media. Level up. Take classy pictures. Do y'all want to see my pictures? Do y'all follow me on Instagram? I've been, trying, I've been trying to class it up. I'll show you my Instagram. What the heck is that? You know how stuff pops? I do all kinds of stuff, but I'll show you a classy picture. Classy, classy. Hmm. This is kind of classy, what y'all think? Hi. I'm having my morning coffee. That's better than a booty pose. Look at back. You know, this looks, looks fake. It looks better than a booty pose. It got attention. Got some inboxes from it, got some DMs from it. And they ain't asking about no sexy. Okay, my name is Shira7 on Instagram, baby. She wrote all one word, all lowercase one word. Oh, this is when I first did my hair and makeup this morning. There we go. Hi, how are you? This is classy. There's no nudity, no nakedness, no booty showing, no ratchet anything. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Trishina, Sprinkle Sprinkle, thank you. Thank you. Um, so yeah, take some good pictures. You said no cleavage. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see my other Instagram. Let's see some more pictures. Mm. They're all the same. <laughs> These pictures of myself. And level of cosmetics. I took pictures of my decor. 
Y'all see, if y'all just go check it out, you'll see it. But anyway, how many guys should you date at 18? However many you can get away with, girl. Spark, spark on. You 18, girl, have fun. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Jade Brown. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do you get used for sex if you're not leveled up? If you allow people to use you, you can be ugly and never get used, but if you allow people to use you, yes, of course. Oh, some of these are not so classy, but they're funny. Like my Beyonce. <laughs> that was my rendition of Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion. Savage. Okay. Should you post bikini pics on social media? Mm-hmm. Are you at a beach? Is it taken from far away? Are you posing on purpose? Who are you trying to get the attention of? You know, are you a bikini model? Are you just taking it as a thirst trap? How do you want to be perceived in your future? I don't know. These are all the stuff you got to think about. Maybe you should have two Instagrams. Thank you, Google user. Facts, if a man doesn't see you as the prize, it's because you don't take care of yourself. Low standards. No backbone and you chase him. That's right. Mm Mm-hmm. Why do 36-year-old well off men still know? Because 36 equals 26 in their years. There's still 26 in their mind. Okay? Until they stuff that working, that's when they want to settle down. <laughs> How did you get James to give you money when you were living with him? You can't say it's for a bill anymore. How did, because he gave me money every month. Automatic deposit, baby. I don't play. I set up that automatic deposit. His, whatever came out of his, it came out of his bank account once a month into mine. Talk about the automatic deposit. I need to listen to you first thing in the morning. Yes, you do. Log on. And come and find me and listen to me while you do your makeup. That's what a lot of people do. So yes. I say if you're gonna if you're gonna have an Instagram, have one that you want to share with certain people and one you don't. At least. That's what you do every day too. Aw, thank y'all for watching me. I appreciate that. Any tips for going to a bar alone? Girl, I used to go to a bar alone all the time. Don't drink too much so you can drive home at least or call a ride or Uber, whatever. Don't talk to anybody for longer than two minutes if they ain't offering to buy you no drink. <laughs> okay. And don't stay on your phone. Don't be on your phone. Be, be looking around and enjoying the ambiance. Um, I can't put foundation because I've got acne pro skin. But I use mascara and lipstick. Okay. They have um, powder foundation now. It's like, it's way better if you have acne prone skin. They even have some that have like medicine in it. So like maybe you can find one that has like acne medicine in it. I don't know, but they do have some if you want just the more polished look. Yeah, I think Clinique has some like that. And also a drugstore brand would be like a cover girl or something like that that might have that in it already. Should you flirt with guys on social media? I could never. I mean, if I was young, 
and didn't have nothing to lose and was just being silly, um, probably, but not as a grown woman. Thank you, Mitch Sprinkle Sprinkle. There's a girl on Snapchat. <clears throat> she used to brag for having her own money. Now she talk about how to use men for money. Girl. My, how they change. That's because she probably got trolled in her comments. <laughs> how to hide new clothes and gifts you getting? Which I need to get a rich man so I can move out of my control, Dad. Be, be honest. He, he doesn't want me dating. I don't get caught dating, planning to move out. How old is your dad? I mean, how old are you? Okay. Hide them and keep them. Some. Put them in a suitcase. I don't know. Hide them. Hang them up. You look like you already had them. Tell them they're from the thrift store. I don't know. You're 19. Girl, you grown. You should have been dating already. You're 19 and your daddy won't let you date. What the heck? Is something wrong with you, like mentally? Because like that would be the only reason why you should be allowed to date at 19. Like, because they don't trust you. I would definitely be like, I'm going, I'm gonna do what I want to do. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be dating. You live with him so? Tell them you're going to your friend's house and go out on the date, girl. Tell them you're going to visit grandma, grand, aunt, uncle, whoever, and then go out with your friend or your boyfriend or whoever. How to change beliefs on acceptance, big money. How to change belief on acceptance, big money. Um, if you don't get it, somebody else will. <laughs> If you're going to feel silly afterwards. Are tight clothes okay if you're skinny? Um, They are okay, but are you going to fit into the environment in which you are trying to get into? You know what I'm saying? The lifestyle. The clothes fit the lifestyle that you want. So it's okay if the clothes are appropriate. Mm-hmm. Are fake lashes needed while you're young? Do you have little lashes? Do you have to... fake lashes? Aren't really needed. They just add a whole other dimension to your look. So. You know, sure, it's tacky to have huge six carat engagement ring. I don't know. Is it? Not if it's real. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Five year break is too long. What? What's the name of the whip, the wig, and lip gloss? This is called Sandy Ash Brown from Y Wigs. You can use my uh, coupon code, it's linked below in the description bar. Say $10. And this is Boutique. This is the color Boutique by Leveled Up Cosmetics. And you can get that on levelupcosmetics.us. It's also in the description box. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Natasha. Is it okay to ask your sugar daddy for money for therapy or should girl don't ever tell somebody you want a therapy? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I know sugar daddy. He'll use it against you like you crazy. Retail therapy, right? Mm -hmm. Tell him it's the sub mills. Don't tell him all of that. He can be what? Tell him it's for something else. Why y'all I always gotta be so honest? Therapy for what? He giving you money. How to dress while dating at 18. Just like an 18 year old. Forever 21. There go there you go. Have fun, baby. You can't afford if you can't afford the other stuff, or you don't shop online, go head to your local mall where you 18. You ain't got to worry about it. Go have fun, baby. Go have fun. You're 18. You ain't ready for this. 
You want you're gonna want to date someone cute. You're gonna want to do all these things. You're gonna want to go have fun. You want to go to concerts. You want to, you know, go have fun. And when you're done with them, when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then you come over here and go get to the older man with the money. Okay. But go have fun first because you can't appreciate an old man until you go have fun with a young man. Okay, go have fun, get your heart broke, look stupid. Have some stories to remember and reflect upon as you get older. But go have your fun first. Don't waste your youth yet. You know, when, you, when you're done or you have absolutely had enough, then it's time to be a gold digger. Okay? But go have fun first. Don't pay for no man, though. <laughs> You're supposed to have fun. You're supposed to have, you're supposed to be able to do that when you're young. It's not bad if you don't get pregnant or wind up living with a dusty. Don't don't move in when nobody broke. Don't pay nobody bills. Don't give nobody no money. That's the only rules you need to follow. If they're not giving to you, they're not beneficial. You don't want no guys your age, well, okay. well they somebody slightly older. At least date somebody in their 20s. How to connect with the older men. Don't listen to trap music. Don't wear pink wigs. Just be classic or classy. Thank you, Miss Sky. Sugar Daddy gave me a key to his place, but I'm at the other Sugar Daddy house across the states. Excuse for money while I'm away. Um, you can't think of no excuses like you're not good at that yet, girl. You gotta, you gotta get good at that. I got a whole book. You need to write a book of excuses, baby. Tell them your wallet got stole. Somebody hacked your account. Do something. My wallet was stolen. My purse was stolen. I was at the bathroom. Somebody took it out and spent my money, and I can't get any gas. And that's a good one. I need to change the locks. What do you think about? I'm not asking the same questions over and over. I don't really care about only fans. If it's keeping you from being homeless, then please have at it. <laughs> I don't really care why y'all keep asking me about all these things. I don't care. <laughs> what what would I think about OnlyFans? What am I gonna say about OnlyFans? I don't even know what OnlyFans, I've never even seen OnlyFans. I don't even go on OnlyFans, so I don't care about OnlyFans. If that's how you make your money, get your money, boo boo. I don't know. I don't know about OnlyFans. Stop. I, I want I want y'all to just stop caring what I think about stuff like that. If you want to do it, go do it. <laughs> okay. I'm too smart. I got I got other ways to get paid. How you doing? There you go. Thoughts on smoking or vaping as a woman. Very masculine. How do you attract older sugar daddy, especially when he's trying to kiss you? How to be attracted to older sugar daddy, especially when he tried to be drunk tequila? Tequila. Thank you, Genesis. Are these trolls affected? Or are these tools? Of <laughs> are these tools effective if you have daddy issues? Do you recommend therapy? I don't recommend nothing. Retail therapy. Honestly, if you that analytical about, you know, life and you always in your head and you always living in the past, then go to therapy, baby. I don't know what to tell you. I'm looking forward. I'm looking for my money, period. And I don't live back there. It's a waste of time and it ain't making me no money. So you need to go, go. But I, I really 
I like I've seen so much crazy stuff. Normal life is therapy. Okay. <laughs> okay, y'all be y'all weak. I'm like, are you serious? How can I get more money from your ex? Like, I want 50k a month now. Well, then, um, tell him you being sued and you got to pay this much money, or you going to jail. See if he give it to you. I'm being sued. I owe the IRS. I'm being sued. That's how you get that type of money. Start crying. I got to pay this much or else I'm going to lose my house. The IRS. I'm going to jail. Cry, cry, cry. Get your money. What if they ask for proof? Get the typing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Get the typing. Get the pacing. Get the copying. Here you go your proof. Okay. How to stop being nervous in from attractive guys. They ugly guys. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Who gonna ask for proof in the middle of crying hysterically? Do I recommend dating men with children if they grown children? <laughs> Thank you, Nina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I just had my baby. Your birthday, same as MJ's. Oh, happy birthday, sprinkle, sprinkle, Nina. Same as MJ. Hmm. That's cool. Look at you. Um. Should you ever battle with another prize? Nope. You are the prize. You first prize. She might be second prize, but you first prize. What do you think you... Uh, Shira, what do you think about sexy, expensive leggings? Steel leggings. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It depends on what you wear them with, how you wear them. Do you wear them in a classy way or are you dressed? Where are you, where are you going? Or is it daytime, nighttime? Where are you? You know, it all depends. But... You know what I mean? Because they make, what they call, they make like, I guess they call them pants. Like the kind you can buy at like um, Polo or Banana Republic, and but they have like a button at the top. A lot of people wear like riding boots and sweaters with them or because they're like fitted. But leggings, if they're under a skirt or something like that and it's cold or something like that, yes, but like leggings, if, if you're young, like if you're shopping at Forever 21 and stuff, if you're 18, if you're 19, if you're 20, do all of that stuff if you want. But once you get past a certain age, no. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're 21, yeah, have your fun. Mm hmm should I just have fun too? Yes, you should have fun. 21, you just got ready to drink. You just got legal. Have your fun. I was telling Sasha about some of my old days when I was in my tw early 20s. How to deal with jealous girls talking about you? Um, well, I don't really care. I'm like, you know. At least they're talking about me and I'm not talking about them. Because I don't care about them enough to talk talk about. I'd be like, I'm glad y'all find me entertaining and care enough about me to talk about me. What's your name? I don't care. Let them talk. That's what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Stop caring what other people say. I don't know, right? I would not care what anybody said. I don't care. I'm still going to do me. They'll talk about whoever else they're jealous of as well. What time is it? It's not like 
being on YouTube, people talk about me all the time. I just don't care. <laughs> what 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 am I gonna do? What, go in a corner and cry? Oh, they said this and that. Okay. <laughs> Are you still the prize if you're a single mother, out of shape, and no money? Okay. You got to get back in shape. And then you can be the prize. Shoot. Did you already touch on it? Yep, I sure did, but I'll touch on it again in a second. Sure, is it bad that I don't have any friends? You're in my early 20s. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot. Never had a girl time out or party. Aw. Um, I mean, it could be fun, but I, I don't know, like, I hung out more, like, with my sister, but, and her friends, but they were a little older than me, so, I don't know. If you're, if you feel like you're missing out, go try to make some friends, go try to make some friends. Mm -hmm. Can you be in love and still get paid? Yeah, you can be in love with yourself. I mean, it's possible if if the man loves you more than you love him. Sure, you is sometimes toxic though. I'm here. <laughs> Why am I toxic? Sometimes you have to be toxic. What you said? The messy girls make friends so easily. Oh yeah, because they be talking about everybody else. Thank you, Marina. Should women ever lie about their age if they look young and can get away with it? Yeah, of course. Men lie all the time about their age. You said, what to do when you don't want a man's attention, but you don't want to be rude with them because you are focused on your career. I'm 22 and going on to medical. Does this man have money? Because he can pay for your tuition, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If he broke, then of course get rid of him. If he's broke, just ask him for some money. If you want to get rid of him, he'll be gone. Two seconds. Super fast. If you got money, make them pay that tuition, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, sure, is it bad that I don't have any? Yeah, it's not bad. Just make some friends, girl. If you get a job working with a lot of uh, different girls, that's how you can make friends easy if you work. Make friends at work. You know, that's how a lot of people make friends at work or at school. So find a job or go to school and meet some friends and go out. Okay. Should you go clubbing? If you're young, go clubbing, girl. When else you gonna go clubbing? When you're 40? <laughs> girl. Hit all them clubs when you go. Yes, go have fun. My channel is for after you've had your fun and now you're ready to get that money. I've wasted so many good years being a pick Misha. The more I listen to you, the more I appreciate your toxicity. Oh, thank you, wild woman. Awake, any girls, break a spring. Mm hmm. I'm 22, want to take your advice. When should I have sex with a man that I want to keep when he will you no longer have to work or pay your own bills? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Felicia, sprinkle, sprinkle. When out with my last guy, we would get free drinks, meals, discounts because men and women would flirt with me. He would always remind me that he's 
that he's been with other pretty women, not just me. Okay, so you've been with other men with money. Congratulations. If you want a cookie, sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, she was probably, uh, he, he probably lying just trying to make himself feel better. It's like, I'm sure you have. Like, say like you don't believe him. Like, I'm sure you have. That's what I would do. I'm sure you have. I'm trying to tell you that because he haven't. Why would he have to say it? I remember James used to do that when we first met. I used to date this girl talking about 20 years ago when I said, well, I was in kindergarten. <laughs> That's how far back he had to go. <laughs> I used to date this girl when I was just okay. I was in junior high school. What they look like now. <laughs> okay. They trying to they're trying to impress you. Like it's not anything to offend you. They're trying to impress you. Um I'd be like not 20 years ago. I know, right? I'm like, when? When was this? You gotta go all the way back. Oh, yeah, I remember. That's when, that's when New Jack City came out. I remember that. I was in the sixth grade. <laughs> Fifth grade, sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. Seventh grade. I don't know what one of grades. I know it was in junior high. How do I ask a man to pay my rent? Tell him you paid your mama's rent because she was about to be kicked out, and now you short. If you don't offer, then he ain't the one. Move on. Spark, spark. You don't ask. You, either you cry or you tell him a sob story. If he doesn't offer to help you, then he don't want to help you. Baby. If they're not offering, they don't feel that way for you. What does it mean when a guy says that his exes were demanding? That means they knew they were surprised, baby. His exes knew that they were surprised. Hey, what age to reach to start lying about your age? Whatever age you you feel like you can lie. I, I never lied about my age, though. I didn't have to because I was with James. I only lied about my age to be older when I was younger. To get into clues. Um... Make it believable though. Like, I know a woman who I will always tell people that she was older because they would give her more compliments. Oh, you look so good. Like, but she was, she did look good for her age. I remember the last time I saw her, she was probably four years older than me. And I'm thinking about it. I look, yeah, I'm a little better. Uh -huh. But yeah, some people do that. How do you deal with a man who says that he wants to be friends with benefits? Girl, I don't. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How do I deal with a man who's... Didn't I, he, someone asked me this yesterday. How do I deal with a man who wants to be friends with benefits two months after dating with romantic dinners? I'm trying to get his benefits from all them dinners. <laughs> yeah. He trying to get payback, girl. I spent all that money. You better get something up. That's what he's. That's what he's trying to tell you. Unless you already gave it up during the dinners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friends with benefits that give you money. 
because I don't care what they got, what they're giving me. You know? Uh, I don't think I would be, unless those benefits are money, I don't think I'm going to be friends with nobody. You know? Do I like the pumpkin cream cold brews? I don't know. I haven't had one. He need to take you on a date. Oh, yeah. He need to take you on a date. I love to let men feel like they're winning and just cut them out of the blue one day. <laughs> hey, Shira, how do I get money from a man who has had past horrible experiences with women robbing him thousands of dollars? If he had to tell you all that, it means you ain't getting no money. If a man came out and told you that he was robbed by women for thousands of dollars, it means, here's the translation, don't you ask me for one dollar. That's what he was trying to tell you. Okay, he said it in a nice way that you could pick up on it subtly. I mean, you ain't gonna get no money out of him. Move along. You don't want to be seen in public with dates, but you want money, then girl, wear some sunglasses, get you a wig. <laughs> I got a bunch of wigs, or get you some different color wigs. Get you some nice shades. They won't recognize you. Nobody will recognize you. What you think about Marcus Houston? Who, who that is? Somebody from the old, the 90s? The dude that was on Sister Sister? Him? Yeah. Roger. How to make him jealous so that he completes a little competes a little better. Don't answer his calls. Be busy some of the other nights of the week and go date other men. But don't tell him. Have a life, you know. A man can't want you if he can't miss you. Man can't chase you if you ain't nowhere to be chased. You always right next to him, picking up the phone every time he calls. You, how he's supposed to chase you? Yeah, give him some space. Thank you. What? Do what makes you happy. Even the children will get older and say. You didn't, if you didn't leave, do it, yeah. Um, would you not recommend dating men with young children? Do the children live with the man or with the mother? And only on the weekends with the father. You gotta understand. I don't know which which one. Do they live with the with the dad? Both. Mm -hmm. I mean, does he have money? Is he giving you money? Is it beneficial to me? And then when he stopped giving you that money, then that's when you stop dating the baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. As long as he ain't asking you to babysit in exchange for that money. <laughs> Unless you want to. Hey, sure, is guy being truthful if he says he can wait on sex until six months? Yeah, because he got some, a pick Misha down the street that he be doing it with for free. That's the friends with benefits. 
check. That's the friends with benefits check down the street. He could wait six months because he ain't got to wait. He could wait six months with you because he got something on the side. Period. How did I quit drinking? I stopped. <laughs> I didn't really drink a lot when, you know, after our, I got married and had kids and settled down anyway. But settle down, that's how. Hey, his mother, no shade. That hair looks perfect on you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is there really no way I can get the guy who flew me out to be as into me again? Girl, when you mess up, you done messed up. You done made a bad impression. You probably think you're crazy. He ain't gonna do it. Try it. Waste his money again on you. You done, The first impression is the, the last impression. You already showed him you was crazy. He ain't finna gamble on you again. Unless he likes you more than you like him. And if he did, he would have been begging you for your forgiveness. So I don't know. How to make a man fulfill his promise to you. By not listening to what he says, but only responding to what he does. Usually promises are in exchange for something else. So what did he, what did you give him in exchange for his promise? <laughs> I'm, I'm, a promise ain't nothing. As soon as he promised it, he would have been giving it to me, whatever it was. Did he, would he promise you money? Then let's go to the ATM right now. We ain't got to wait till tomorrow. Let's the ATM right across the street. I got Cash App on the phone. Got Zelle. Got PayPal. I got it all. What you need? Yes, talk is cheap. Oh my God, I got a new computer and I'm back. Hey, you back, girl? Hi, Alexis. I told a Dusty I was crazy and he still flew me. That's because he knew he, he don't plan to keep you long. You're okay. He's like, wow, well, it's crazy for one weekend, ain't that bad. Older men love me. Younger men seem intimidated by me. What to do when a lot of guys in my college are interested in me and approaching me? I'm 22. Which Who daddy rich? Find out about their they family. This is what I would do. I would, I would do my research. See who their family is. You know, look them up. Try to become one of their girlfriends along with a rich family. Go home for the holidays with them or something. Go meet their mom or their daddy, whatever. Get in good. If all of them broke, then I, whoever got take me out and spend the most. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> sure, a guy told me I look exotic. What does that mean? I don't know what you look like. And what the guy look like? Because exotic to, is different to different people. Mm -hmm. So y'all playing this game before or after having children? What game? The game of life? The game don't stop. Before or after children? Sure, a guy told me I look exotic. What does that mean? What the guy look like, baby? It means you exotic to him. <laughs> How do you make a good impression on boyfriend's parents? Look innocent. Look innocent. Where? What does it mean? Yeah, look innocent when he wants you to open up more emotionally. Ooh, I hope nobody ever told me that. I'm glad nobody ever told me that. Uh, it means you didn't. Your stories weren't good enough. 
make up some better stories. <laughs> make up some good emotional stories that aren't true and open up emotionally with fiction. There you go. Work on your acting skills, darling. You should be innocent in front of parents, confident in front of God. When should you start asking for money after he's already offered you some? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what to do if he starts talking about another girl? Sad with the girl. She sounds very smart. I think she might be a little bit out of your league. I always side with the girl, baby. That way he can't do it anymore. He just took his power. If you don't like it, side with the woman, he'll stop. What to do if his family doesn't like you? To laugh. <laughs> Say that they like you. I know y'all love me so much, but I really have to go. I gotta go see my family. I'll see y'all later. Can't wait. You lie, lie to everybody and say that they love you. Girl, his mom loves me so much. His family just adores me. <laughs> and when you go over there, like, I tell everybody y'all love me. <laughs> Even though y'all hate me, I be lying. Tell people y'all love me to death. <laughs> um, are you romantic with Jane? Girl, am I romantic? I've been married for, I've been Jane for 18 years. 18 years. Do you think people are romantic after 18 years? I thought, geez, I just be romantic. When I want something, I, I, I walk around looking cute. Mm -hmm. I feel that it's hard to date dude from your own race now, and it's easier to date. Well, whatever's easier for you, that's what you do. I'm lazy. I'm going to do what's easiest for me. So do what you got to do, and whatever whatever you like, whatever's easiest for you, whatever's less stressful, fine. Like, I know because I'm lazy. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about a young and old man. Like, whatever. It's easiest. <laughs> I don't like working hard for nothing unless I enjoy the work then it's not work at all can you give some advice on guys trying to cross your boundaries and if he has already crossed the boundaries can you reverse the damage um what type of boundaries y'all gotta be specific because my answers are specific. Because if I answer the question vague and that's not what you meant, then it's not really helpful. So be more specific. Can you guys please just donate instead of spending? <laughs> yeah, go and donate. You said sex too soon. Well, why didn't you say that? Girl, that's what they want. They conquered you. Well, I would, if, if I had to fix that, if I had to try to fix it, I would be like, I'm the hit it and quit it type. Then they'd be calling you. You know what I'm saying? I'm the hit it and quit type. Don't call them back. Don't, don't text them. Don't call them. 
act like you didn't quit them. They're going to think something's wrong with them. They're going to call them back. I'm like, hey, what's up? Everything okay? You goes them. <laughs> They're going to think, dang, I must not be that good. I'm going to try one more time. See if I can do it better. I'm going to get her. Call her here and see if we can do it again. Hey, what you doing? Yeah. Then make them start all over to earn it again. That's how you fix it. That's the only way you can fix it. If you if, if you gotta ghost him and then make him work for it all over again. <laughs> can you ghost the boy? You can ghost anybody you like. Okay. How long should I wait till he proposes if he's thinking of talking about marriage? Till he can afford a ring, a house, a nice car, where you don't not have to work. Otherwise, you're going to be in a miserable marriage. Okay. That's how long. Thank you. You started being the prize and he loves you now. What? Sure, we started me being a prize and he loves me a lot, but somehow I have started loving him so much and I do all the lovey dovey comments and texts. I call him often. Then stop, girl. What you doing? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Don't don't flip, don't flip the power. You better quit. You better take somebody else that stuff. <laughs> or text it to yourself. Call your mama or somebody. Stop doing that. I am damaged. Shira, victims now, victimizer. Yeah, whatever. My bank account ain't damaged, though. Yes, I'm texting everyone but him. Keep doing it. Don't, don't be texting him like that, girl. You're going to get the wrong idea. How to look innocent, wear white. Wear a headband, don't wear too much makeup. Say yes, ma'am, no ma'am. Play dumb. Sure, you helped me so much. Life changed my life. Aw, she only sprinkle, sprinkle. Not unhappy to help you. Glad I could help you. Sure, how do you get a man to shut up after you apologize and listen? How do you get a man to shut up after you apologize, girl? I'm, I'm not going to do none of that. Unless it has some, something to do with some money. I'm going to cry till I get my way. Cry. That's how you get him to shut up. Cry. Fake cry. Cry, cry, cry. You wore a wig for the first time. And you got a lot of attention. You're right about naturally curly hair being intimidating. Oh, well, yep, that wig on. What eye makeup do you have on? I have on my Level Up Cosmetics Vintage um, Nudes. It's just actually it's 40% off right now on my Level Up Cosmetics store. Just go in there and type in eyeshadow in the search bar, and it's the neutral palette. It's 40% off right now. How to cry? Think about somebody dying that you like or that you love. They, they didn't start crying. You see the onions? Hot sauce on your finger, onion. Think about somebody dying. I don't know, something. If James aware of all of my strategies, does yeah he he already know about them. He says he say he, he don't know why he he don't know why he still fall for him, but he do. I think he's more um, what do you call it? 
I think he admires the fact that someone would even take the time to try to even do all of that. Think, think about it. <laughs> you know, after you've been together this long, isn't it? No, James is not, James has loosened up a lot. He's, he, he acts more like me now. Like, <laughs> he says, I got that from you. Like, I know. <laughs> What's the best scam you did to a man? Me? Scam? Never. Man? Trying to think, it's oh, been so long. It's been so long. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been with Jane so long, it's hard to, to remember scamming me. <laughs> I didn't know I really had to scam, they just gave me stuff. Like, I didn't have to scam, they just gave me stuff. You want some earrings? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't have to. Hey, Reggie. Look, I'm still alive. Okay, right now. I look like a baby when you cry. <laughs> um. You said people are normalized to be in the pygmy? Ooh. Let them be pygmies. Who else gonna raise them dusties? Sprinkle, sprinkle. You want the homeless problem to increase? They ain't gonna be after your man for, with money. When they when they tired of dusties, they'll be they'll be over here. Don't worry. They gotta go through that phase. First, they're gonna go through their pick me phase first, you know. Then when they tire, they'll they'll be over here. Or trying to level up or something. What if a guy don't like his looks and we keep them calling and you keep calling them handsome and compliment them? Is it going to make him think he is can attract other girls? Yeah. And when they shut him down, he'll be right back to you. How to deal with thirsties asking for some money. Mm-hmm. She would do James call you nicknames. Not really. Like and, and when we were um, when we were younger. Like he just calls me like my my real name, but the short version of it. We don't call each other big names. We too old. <laughs> mm, do you think we should not compliment guys? Compliment them on like other things besides looks. Like, oh, you're so smart. Oh, you're so funny. But looks, mm, not so much. How Corona affecting your life? Yeah, it's not, except these kids at home instead of going to school. That's the only way. It's bad uh, virtual school. Every time I cried, the man welled up and I got the best treatments ever. That's my go-to. Yes. After how long should you start to ask for help? They, ha- they, they You need to come up with a story and they need to offer Um, they have to like you a lot and you'll know when. Like if they like you a lot, you could do it maybe by the third or fourth date. They don't, they're, they're not like head over heels over you. I wouldn't even ask. I, w- I mean, I wouldn't even tell them the story because they probably think y'all are regular dating. 
because of me, you have lost 20 pounds and you are still going good for you, Jamie girl. Go ahead, sprinkle, sprinkle. How to, how to cheat and not get caught, go to church. Become real holy and religious. Like I said on my other video, start getting into the Lord. And be like, I joined the church choir. I'm going to church on Wednesday, Sunday. I got to go there Thursday for choir practice. Girl, you be going to lunch, happy hour. Bring your Bible, bring your Bible. You know he ain't going to want to go. And be like, okay, well, why do you smell like alcohol? Well, you know, we had to take the communion. You know, in the Catholic Church, you could drink. It don't matter. We went out for drinks afterwards. Yep. They want me to be a Sunday school teacher, too. So that means I'm going to have to go extra days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't you think guys can sense our games? Not if you're good at them. If it comes naturally, they can't sense it. <laughs> so, they ain't gonna sense it. And if, if they do, they won't care because you the prize. Like, oh, I know what you're doing, but I like it. Mm-hmm. Some men like it. They would rather you game them than have someone game you. She is good. Thank you. Um, so yeah, a lot of women make mistakes by giving too many compliments, liking them way more, calling them, texting them all the time. Um, answering the phone all the time, every time they call, not setting up their standards in the beginning, and being, you know, taken for granted. Let's see what else I wrote down. But yeah, some, some women don't realize that they're setting themselves up for failure later on. Yeah. If you chase them, if they're too young, if you're all trying to push them for commitment, you they think they're the prize because they're not pushing you for commitment. They're not chasing you anymore. They're not looking through your phone. So obviously, I must be the prize because she's always chasing me, shaking up on me, thinking I'm going to find something better. So that means I can do better. You know what I mean? So that's why you got to check yourselves as women. All that behavior says that you're not the prize. I made all those mistakes and discovered this channel afterwards. Well, hopefully you never make them again. If the guy is like three years younger, but I also stable is it a, and is a billionaire and loyal and love girl, tell Prince Charming I said hello, give him, some, give him a kiss, and tell him great. Take care of you. And sprinkle, sprinkle. Did you see Brandy? No, I didn't see it. I'm sorry, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Sure, if the guy is three years younger, um, yeah. I ain't dating nobody three years younger than me. I'm sorry. Can't do it. I feel like, I, I don't know, I couldn't do it. Unless he looked old. If he look older than me, then maybe I can do it. But if he looking younger than me, I can't do it. Shira, what bad experiences led to how you feel, how you do now? Um, the bad experience was dating a Dusty when I was like 18 or 19. In my young, young days. And I was just over it. I'm done. I'm like, I can't do this no more. I need, I need some money. I need some man's money. I need somebody with a nice car. I want to go on trips. I'm tired of this 
I got to I got to get something better. So I think just not being able to do what you want to do because whoever you're dating is broke. <laughs> Basically, I didn't want you know no more broke man for me. No scrubs. Y'all remember the TLC song? No scrubs. No scrubs. Mm -hmm. Do I ever regret being with an older man? Um, I don't really regret it because that means I'll be a young widow. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Round two. Either way, I'm about to slide. Who's <laughs> You understand your worth, yes. How many years are you in Jacob Park? Probably 25. You get insurance policies and pensions. Mm -hmm. Broke men are boys that don't get the memo on what it takes to be a man. That's right. Can I say I'm looking for a generous gentleman while I date? No. <laughs> How to decline uninvited people? Ask them for some money. Why should we not care if they cheat? It's not that you shouldn't care, it's that you shouldn't emotionally overreact and they should pay for it monetarily with money. And that doesn't mean you're going to forgive them. It just means they just have to pay for their forgiveness. But that doesn't mean you forgive them. You know, your, your eyes are still open. You know, you don't have to sleep with them. You can still cut them off and still be together. <laughs> And still get your money or your car or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. They're going to cheat anyway. But if they have to pay for it, they're less likely to cheat again in the future than if you just let them get away with it or break up. Then they're going to just go to the next chick. So what are you getting out of it? What are you leaving with? Let's be smart. Be smart with cheaters. Don't get emotional. Leave with something. Or get something out of it. Don't just get mad and feel stupid and feel heartbroken. Get something that you want out of it. Because if they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. You might as well benefit from their cheating. And then decide if you want to stay or leave. But don't just overreact. Shoot. Is it hard for a married man to cheat knowing he's going to lose everything? I don't know. Ask a married man to be cheating. <laughs> Sometimes they're married to Barbara the Builder and they don't lose everything. So honestly, like, you know, that's why they marry those type of women. Because they don't get everything. I really like She Was Seven, but ladies, money and men is not the world. Us women are not here on earth for only that. We are more than our bodies. That's true. We're, we are more than our bodies. We are mothers, sisters. All of that. But when it comes to a man, talk for more than five minutes and see if you're paying attention. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> How do you position it to him like, hey, you owe me a product first, but you know, be cussing him out and then get distracted by something on your phone, like a car or a product purse. Oh my God, this is so cute. And then he's going to try to, oh, let's go buy it. I'll buy it for you. He'll try to get you to stop being crazy. And he'll offer to get it. There you go. What advice would you give to a copycat at work trying to steal my position as a supervisor? Thank <laughs> you.
Or that woman be gone. Is it a man or a woman? She'll be gone the next week. What? Anonymous phone calls always do the job, baby. Anonymous phone calls always do the job. That's all I'm going to say. Anonymous phone calls. Hmm. Honestly, I did that one time. Bad. I was bad at my use. Thank you, Jasmine. So Potential sent me a picture of bank account saying he has more than one. It was like a total of 12,000. Help. What should be my girl? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, my kids got more than that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell him a child has more money in their account. No, that ain't working. Hi, Sasha. Did you hear me talk about the name? Hey, 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 hey,
-hmm. If he really, really likes you, you could. But if he don't really, really like you like that, you shouldn't. How to tell if he's cheating. That's pretty easy. You should be able to figure that out. Men aren't that great at hiding it. You, you should be able to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Sure, if a guy says he's looking for an equal, ugh, then he's looking for one other man because that's the only thing equal to a man to another man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, so he, he he's beyond dusty baby. He looking for a roommate. That's one more thing. I wish women would stop doing y'all. Right? If y'all are doing this, y'all need to. Wean yourself off of it. Stop paying bills, mortgages in a house where you are sleeping with that man. Period. Okay? That means you are not the prize. Period. If you pay in rent or a mortgage in a house and sleeping with somebody, and doing their laundry and cooking their food, you the maid and the roommate. You are not the wife, you ain't the you ain't even the girlfriend. So no matter how you try to explain it, when you break it down, that's what you are. Okay? Period. You aren't a strong, independent woman. You ain't helped to build no man. You ain't building no empire. You know what you're doing? You're telling him you're not the prize. You're not a wife. You're a roommate, a maid. Okay? So stop doing it. You better tell me, look, I'm, I'm tired of doing this. I'm your wife. You need to take care of me like a real man. Sure, look what the Bible say. The Bible say, you bring out the Bible on. <laughs> Do something. Thank you, Saucer Girl. How to get over someone who was not my boyfriend. Did they die? Girl, how you? He ain't your boyfriend. Did he spend money on you? Because that would be hard to get over that money, you know. If he didn't spend any money on you, it should be very easy to get over him. <laughs> I always tell women when you can't get over somebody, it's because you gave them more than they gave you. Stop giving so much. Forgive yourself for giving more than they gave you and never repeat it. And you won't have this problem ever again. Okay? You probably feel like he owe you something. What if a guy said he only takes care of women financially when he's married? That he ain't never gonna get married. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> That's a good way to keep you and you still pay for yourself. It's a good old trick. That's what it is. 
that's the same thing like it's saying I don't sleep with no man until he put that uh, ring and we march down that aisle. And then I ain't having sex till we married. You don't get this either. Okay. That's right. Nope. You ain't getting none of this till we married either. So I guess we're just gonna be eating dinner. <laughs> I guess we'll just be eating dinner together for how many months or years. <clears throat> I give good advice, but women are going to do people wrong with it. Good. I'm, the wrath. The wrath is upon you. <laughs> But once they get what they want and they're happy, they'll be decent women again. They just have to get their wrath out first and they'll level out. Be good wives. <laughs> How do you keep value as we get older and the husbands get richer and more opportunities? You marry older and you'll always be young and they'll leave you all their money when they die. Period. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I keep trying to tell you how to form it. <laughs> Stay leveled up. Marry older. You'll be fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think about that, did you? Uh -huh. I'm thinking about the long run. The long run. Think about the long run. That's how you decide. Thank you, Luzia. Luzia. Bye. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Good night. Um, Y'all got to think about the long run. Think 15 years and 20 years down the line. What you going to look like? What he going to look like? How much money he going to have? How many options are you going to have? And how many options are you going to have? Hmm. That ain't going to work for you. So you might as well make the correct choice. <laughs> Thank you. I'm doing better but now, but I still have problems with this. No. Do you watch the show Mirroring for Millions? No, I don't. Hmm. Why do you feel fear inside and push the guy away mentally, self-sabotage every time a guy wants a relationship with me and what I want the most and push away? Because you're scared he's going to break up with you and break your heart. That's why you need to date him for the correct reason, which is money. You need to find a man with money and that will never happen to you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You get an older man with some money and you, I bet you that won't happen. Shira, how do you stop being ashamed that you used to be a pygmy shepherd? How do you stop being ashamed that you used to pee and poop on yourself as a child? The same way. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's how, okay? Be high maintenance and you'll never have to tell anyone you're high maintenance. That's right. They'll just know from looking at you. Oh, she got she, she look like she high maintenance. Can't do that. Or oh, uh, yeah, that's that's my son. How can you find out if he's high money? <laughs> hmm. Pay close attention. I don't know. Get on his computer, get on his phone, look for receipts, different bank accounts. Check that IRS. Check that check that tax return. 
Just don't care about people who used to think you were a pick me sure. That's right. What to do if you want to cook a meal at Tell him you hope he enjoys it. He'll be out and about. Okay. What is a game changer in elevating looks and beauty regimen? Time and energy. Time and energy. Mm hmm. Let's get a week. A good wig can do you some miracles. A good wig and a good foundation and some good brows go a long way. Oh, it's the lashes too. <laughs> wig, brow, lash, foundation. Everything else, yes, but those are essential. I tell if a man is secretly in the closet, just by asking that question, he is. If you got to ask, he most likely is, okay? Mm -hmm. If you have any inkling of suspicion, he is. Or he will be. <laughs> or he has been. I don't know if he got delivered yet, but do you think a wig or extensions or whichever one look good on you? Mm, I think a wig is easier. Anyway. Mm-hmm. You always feel like men know, okay, but it look good. If it look good, they don't care. You know? Men know it's a wig, but they don't care. Okay? You know it's a wig. They know it's a wig. Everybody knows it's a wig, but they don't care. Do you look good, though? <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy Monster Sprinkles. You think people think your nails this long? When you got the fake nails on? No. Everybody knows it's a wig. This is a wig. Everybody knows that. But do, do I make the wig look good? Yes, I did. There you go. The, I make the wig look good, okay? The wig was nothing without me until I put it on. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Do men have emotions? Yeah, when well, you spend all that money. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How to be high maintenance without saying so? Look like it, dress like it, talk like it, walk like it. Mm -hmm. This wig, um, I actually gave all the details, but this is um, it's by level. It's it's um, by Y Wigs. It's called Sandy, and it's the Ash Brown. I know it don't look Ash Brown, but that's the, that's what it says. Right? Okay. Um, What lines can you say to a man to chase more intensely? I mean, honestly, if you got to work that hard and they're not chasing on their own, wrong guy. You know, call them the wrong name by accident. Don't be on the phone with them all the time. Let them miss you. 
they're not chasing you, they don't like you. They don't like you enough. Um, I think I'm going to order a Huawei. Yes, go use my $10 off coupon code, okay? It's my real name. Y'all get the wild weeds, type in my real name, and that's my coupon code. Also, it's down in the description bar. Okay. I feel like I get hated on for being high maintenance. By who? Who's hating on you for being high maintenance? Low maintenance? So as a high maintenance chick, you care about low maintenance chicks? Excuse me? You care about the low maintenance chicks, in their opinion? You want to go sit with them? Just put in Ash Brown. Ash Brown wig. Ash Brown lace front wig. Mm -hmm. You'll see it. It'll pop up. Where's my cup from? I got it somewhere on Instagram. Designs by Nikki. That's what's called. Designs by Nikki on Instagram. If I, um, yeah, she sent me a shirt. Thanks for reminding me because I gotta, I gotta wear the shirt. And she sent me a mask too. Let's just level up on it. With the little Louis Vuitton, I don't. I, I gotta go and put it on one day. Yeah, um, designs by Nikki on Instagram. She made this beautiful Louis Vuitton sparkly tumbler with this straw topper, and she also sent me a mask that says "Level Up" with Louis Vuitton on it. And a pretty t-shirt that says leveled up in pink with the Louis Vuitton letters. I haven't worn it yet, but shout out. Now she go check out her shop. She has like Chanel, all different types of cups and um, Starbucks cups and all that kind of stuff. Too. Do I ever miss going out with men that are cute in your age? I've already done so much of that. I've gone out with celebrities, cute men, models. Girl, I've done, done it all. If I ever want to reminisce, I can have the memories in my brain. And I still got them in my DMs, baby. So I don't miss it at all. I like this house. <laughs> I like this money. I like this freedom. <laughs> so... <laughs> How I get them, girl? Because I, I look good. That's why. When I was younger, my little early twenties, used to bump into people all the time. Yes. Mm, my advice is just enjoy the moment, darling. If you're with a celebrity, enjoy it. It's probably not going to last forever, but if it does, you know what comes with that. But just enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy. Have fun, baby. Mm hmm. One of your students finessed me for $1,000. Angel? Angel, are you a boy? Somebody got you? <laughs> oh, well. All spare and live more. Do you agree with this? You have to have money to have a man with money. No, I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> a man I met invited me to meet all his friends. That's nice. Make sure he spend your, spend money on you still. You know, he's just trying to show you off. Make sure he's spending money to show you off. Before you meet his friends, I don't know if you already met him. So you need some new clothes, some new shoes. Because he wants you to look good for his friend. Mm. 
Right. I hate how I'm attracted to younger guys. Well, you have to you have to just look but here's the thing. Attraction is not the same thing as logic or sense or lifestyle. It's not the same thing. Okay. So you have to separate them. You gotta separate. Them. It's like food. If you eat donuts and ice cream all day, they are attractive. They taste good, but they're not good for you. Okay? You got to eat some lettuce, some spinach, some vegetables in between. You got to, you know, drink some tea. You can't drink soda and ice cream and eat all the sweets all day. You got you to eat some stuff that may not be the best thing that you like to taste. But it's going to keep you alive, going to keep you looking good, going to keep you healthy. If you're only attracted to certain type of men, but they're not beneficial to you, then you're only hurting yourself. Okay? So you might be attracted to them, but are they benefiting you? Are they healthy for you? Okay. Can you even turn around and ask one of them for $100? Can some of you ladies turn around and ask whoever you're sleeping with right now a hundred dollars and get it if the answer is no you ain't the prize if you can't get you know at least a hundred dollars right now at this very moment you can't you ain't worth it they don't respect you and you're being used sprinkle sprinkle you said you just asked mine girl or go for 200 dan he said yeah uh-huh What if we're in college? If you're in college, just have fun, y'all. This is for women who are making life decisions based on who they're dating. Y'all are you're all in college. It don't matter right now. Just have fun. Don't get pregnant, okay? When you start getting out there in the real world, when you're about 23, 24, then you start dating for money. Unless you want to waste some years on the dusty and waste all your 20s and then I don't know, but what role does a woman play in the relationship? And without the woman, there is no relationship. That's the role, baby. <laughs> without the woman, you just got some lotion, period. There you go. That ain't no role. It is a role. Isn't that the role you want us to play? Isn't that the role you approach us for? Isn't that the role that gets you excited? Why else you gonna come up to this? You look like a life, a nice young lady. I want to pay your bills, and that's all. That's all I want to do for you. That is the role. Otherwise, you you wouldn't look for one that was attractive. Men like attractive women. If if that wasn't her role, then you go get ugly ugly one. Okay, because you're not trying to sleep with her, right? So it don't matter what she look like. Since that is the role, the role consists of you earning and putting your investment towards what you are trying to get. It's like when you walk on a car dealer. A uh, lot, and you see the car you like, and you know how many thousands you got to put down to get the <clears throat> right down payment and the right car note. Same thing. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> you see a, a woman you like, you know how much you got to spend to get it. To drive off the lot, you know how much you got to spend. You know. You go to them, the ghetto car dealerships, they'll, they'll try to throw in a deal. Look, I'll give you some free hood caps with it. You just take it off my hands. They'll lower the price for you. Tell you what, tell you what, you be trying to walk off. That's Pick Misha Land, okay? You go to the luxury dealership. You got, you got to get your stuff together, okay? They ain't begging you to take their car. They be like, come back when you can afford it. So, 
Do you have kids? I got two kids. How do you, how do guys ask a man for money when he thinks you're independent? How do you guys ask a man? He shouldn't think you're independent. Mm-hmm. Gotta be that luxury vehicle, girl. Yes. When you have anxiety, girl, take you some tequila or some te CBD oil. Calm your nerves. There you go. Drop, drop yourself some CBD oil. You'll be fine. I feel in a relationship, a woman and a man should balance each other, not to be one-sided. Y'all crazy. That's because you can't do it by yourself. Therefore, you don't need a woman or a wife until you can. You're looking for a Barbara the Builder, not a wife. You're looking for some help, not a wife. <laughs> okay. There's a difference. You're not talking money. Mm -hmm. Well, as long as as long as you, uh, the woman don't have to work and you're paying for everything, and she can get, go shopping when she likes, then whatever. Oh, thank you, Lola. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ooh, she just dropped a hundred dollars. Go ahead, Lola. Sprinkle, sprinkle. She were prophetess of facts over feelings. I'm grateful I found your refreshing, blunt, but honest insights on the power of the P. By understanding and applying your teachings, I found happiness and confidence in my femininity. By the way, is the Facebook level up? Yes. Um, you might have to uh, message. She was in here earlier. Go to my description bar, scroll all the way down. The last two links, message detailer. And also you can get on my um, She Was 7 fan page, but message detailer at the, on Facebook. Sparkle, sparkle. I appreciate that. It was very nice. Y'all see what she just dropped on there? I feel so sprinkled tonight. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, yeah, y'all got to make sure y'all stay leveled up, especially if you're married or in a long-term relationship. Stay the prize. Don't deal with no man. You know, they can build for you. Mm-hmm. Got to sacrifice some things to get the type of lifestyle you like. You know, it's kind of like some people have, some people choose, some people hold out and try to get the best of both worlds. Oh, I want my husband to be attractive and rich. Okay, good. Hope I live up with that. I'm too lazy. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get the, the easiest thing in the fastest way, and, and we'll take it from there. Or I want, I, you know, I, I, you know, people are just letting their opportunities fly away and then they, they wake up and they can't do something. They get frustrated. Look, you should have been doing this years ago. You know, thank you, Lexi. Hey, Aunt Shear, my mom passed away when I was young and I don't have any older sisters. So you, your videos have really helped you all. Thank you, Lexi. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, I am here and I'm glad that I could help you and be like an older sister to you or an aunt. And help you help you along your way, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I appreciate that. Um. Mm hmm. Oh God, what what are these dudes doing in here? We can't help it if y'all little like dudes. Go get y'all a protein sheet, shake, work out. If you think, uh, why y'all calling women football players? We don't understand. Like. 
Do you like football players? Is that your thing? Are you sad that the season hasn't started yet? You couldn't make the team in high school or something? I don't know. What you, what you doing? Defensive back. We don't even know these stupid positions are. We don't watch that crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe use another description because we don't know what they look like. Baby. We only <clears throat> we only know what their wallets look like. We don't know what they look like. <clears throat> See, when men hear football player, they hear oh, athlete, sport, hero. We hear money. That's all a football player is to us, money. Nothing more, money, period. Money and probably, most likely a cheater. So they better have some real money. That's what football players are to us. To fo football players to y'all, heroes, uh, whatever. You know what I mean? So as long as they got money. Sure, what if he grew up away from his dad, 10 to 17 years old, and went to Canada, paper, bring closer to his mama? Does he have the money? And can you tell him what to do? That's all you need to know. Right. If you're not going to leave him, use what? Well, okay, I'll talk to each other. Sorry, football players. They know it. Most of the time, women don't even know who they're talking to when they're talking to a football player. They don't know who they think they are. Um, I feel they are looking for a wife women wife. Okay. She was since I study and live by myself abroad and I pay for everything. What can I tell men about it so that they don't think I'm independent? Tell them tell them you struggling girl. You a struggling student and you're barely making your pay your your bills. And they'll help you. Would you date a man with money if you knew he's a cheater? Is he giving you the money, though? Do you have to work anymore? There's a difference. Like, when I say oh, date a man with money, I mean the whole shebang. I mean, I don't have to work anymore. I can do whatever I want. I can go shop. Not just, oh, let me hurry up and get ready for work so I can... Uh, you know, finish up my work and be on time to meet my man with money afterwards. Afterward, no, when he taking care of you, period. Does the game change when you're married? If he pays bills, do you stop supply your own needs, clothes, hair, blah, blah, blah. sprinkle, sprinkle? Thank you, uh, Chion Demand. Well, he's supposed to be doing that before y'all get married. I don't know why you would show up to alter if he didn't. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. You're supposed to be doing that already, girl. If you, you know, I always suggest women start their own business or whatever. Uh, if they if they choose to, if they want to work, if they want to do something, build themselves, not other people or other people's business. So like if you get married or you get bored, if you want to make some money for yourself or whatever, yes, start a business, baby. But don't go and work for another man when you live with a man. It's my opinion. Mm-hmm. Everything changed when I left my job. He is a provider. Good for you. Best website apps to find sugar daddies. You can freestyle with COVID. Okay. The paid one. The one where they have to pay. Millionaire matchmaker. I don't know, the ones where they have to have money. <laughs> Not the free ones. That's your best bet. 
Someone donated it to me. I answered them. I don't think I answered them all, unless it hasn't popped up yet. Sometimes they come in late. Or if they hurried up and deleted it, then it's gone. Yeah. Maybe I already answered it. Um, what supplements do you recommend, especially for them? Um, anything that makes you, um, like, and gives you energy and some type of antioxidant is always good. Biotin is very good. Mm -hmm. um, spirulina is very good. Thank you, Nolies. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to go. I don't know how long I've been on here. Yeah, I gotta go. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Thank y'all so much for donating. And y'all hit the like button. Hit the like button as y'all go. Y'all subscribe if you're new so y'all can come back. And y'all hit that notification bell. I think y'all have to hit that and then a little portion thing will pop up. You want to be notified every time? Say yeah, every time. <laughs> and all the links are below for the jewelry and the level of cosmetics. So thank y'all so much. Bye.